Welcome back to Fallout 4. We've just cleared out Medford Memorial Hospital of all of the super mutants. Now it's time to go loot crazy. Let's see what we can find. And, I mean, we've already found something, actually. We found this. This beautiful shotgun from that legendary mutant. But I'm sure there's quite a few other things here. Mmm, so many meat bags. Also taking the time to rearrange the weapons in my quick slots. So it's going to make it hopefully a lot easier to use the right weapons at the right time. Hopefully less fumbling. I've basically sorted the weapons by the most commonly used ones. So my rifles first, then the shotgun. Go over the other ones in just a second. Yes. Yeah, I got the rifle first, so that's kind of like medium to long range. Got the shotgun, so that's close range. Then the next one is the sniper, so this is very far range, which I end up not using all that often recently. And then we've got the cryo later. And I did not mean to take that stim back. Were they trying to wash the corpse? If so, they didn't do a very good job of it. Also, by the way, where in the hell is Dogmeat? Maybe Dogmeat got stuck on something. Because they should be following me around. I'm kind of worried. Ooh. Security's too tight. Ah, advanced. You know, I think I've decided for sure, as much as I like to be a hacker, I just hate the minigame so much that I think I'm just not going to put any points into it. Need to dump some weight. I am overweight. Oh, right. I also got the Martyr's Metal Left Arm. I think I got that from the Boss Mutant as well, and I forgot to put it on. That's the one that temporarily slows down time during combat when you are at 20% or less health. Yep, and the stats are better in every way than my current left arm anyway. Let's see what that looks like. Cool, I guess? Doesn't really look that cool, but whatever. The stats are the most important thing, right? Nah, who am I kidding? Style is most important. Anyway, I'm extremely overweight and I'm also wondering where dog meat is. I think I maybe just heard dog meat. I think I am hearing dog meat. I need to store stuff on dog meat, assuming he has any room left. I think I hear him. I hear things moving. But you know what, I think I'm just going to teleport back to home base. Back to Sanctuary, dump some stuff, and I'll be right back. There we go. I processed a couple hundred pounds of stuff, and now I've got plenty of room on me and dog meat. Now, before we get back to it, let's go ahead and modify our weapons a bit. So it looks like we can give a crystallizing barrel to the cryo later. Which uh, says it shoots cryogenic capsules, superior range. And as you can see in the stats, it gives it way, way more range. From 71 to 203. It adds a lot to the weight, but it makes it have way more range. And a good amount more accuracy. Also, it almost looks like it gives it two types of damage instead of just one or something. I'm not quite sure what's up with that. But it can only be a good thing, so let's do it. can also give it glow sights instead of the standard sights. Just improves the focus a bit. Let's go for that. Okay, what about... What about the shotgun? It's got the standard receiver, huh? Oh wow, I can... I can give this a lot of receivers. Let's see what the differences are. So this one's less damage. Just makes it weigh less. Nah, not worth it. This one gives it more damage, makes it weigh more. Could be worth it. Calibrated. Increased accuracy. 
less weight. Better critical shot damage. Okay, so that seems like it's exclusively better. Yeah, better accuracy, less weight. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Better accuracy, more weight. I forgot, the, the minus on the weight doesn't mean that the weight is lower, it means the weight is worse. Um, accuracy hasn't really been a problem with the shotgun, and it's for close range, so I don't care about that. Hardened, weighs more, more damage. Ooh. That actually increases the damage by quite a bit, from 72 to 93. It's a 21 damage increase, that's good. It weighs quite a bit more, but I'm fine with that. Hair trigger. More sensitive trigger, better rate of fire. Uh, that seems kind of irrelevant, because you have to reload it after two shots anyway. So, who cares? Powerful receiver. Superior damage. Ooh, look at what that does to the damage. 109. So how does that compare to Hardened? Yeah, it seems like Powerful is basically a superior version of Hardened. Even more damage. Also even more weight, but only by a little bit. Yeah, let's go with Powerful. That's just the receiver? Alright, let's check the barrel. Oh my god. So many modifications. Mmm, terrible accuracy. Terrible range. Superior critical shot damage. Don't really care. Better recoil, narrow spread. Mmm, seems like that's just kind of exclusively better in every way except the weight. Better range, better accuracy. I don't feel like I need it, but it wouldn't hurt, aside from the weight. Mm, but it uses up screws, and I don't really have any screws. I'm really close to running out, so it's not worth it. Stock, can't change it. Sights, a couple of glow sights on it. Sure. Ooh, leveled up, cool. No muzzle, can't put it on. Okay, so that's the cryo later. And the shotgun. What should I do next? Which one's the fast firing sniper rifle? I don't remember. Is it the night vision one? Yeah, it's the night vision one. So right now it's got the powerful receiver, which is very, very good. Yeah, I can already tell you right now I'm not going to want to change that. That's very good. What about the barrel? Long ported barrel. Also very good. Stock. Man, this thing is so tricked out, it's awesome. Yep, that's good. Large quick eject mag, that's also good. Night vision scope. Also good. Large bayonet. Hmm. I don't really care about the bash damage, so... I don't really care about that. Let's see if we can actually change that. Compensator gives better range. Improved per shot recoil, improved recoil control, reduced range. Well, the range is still better than the bayonet. But worse than having no muzzle. I'm gonna go with it, though. Okay, now we're out of screws, so I don't think we can really craft anything else, so let's call it a day. And, let's level up. I already know what I want to spend my points on. If I could just remember... Mm, it was perception, right? Yes, sniper. You have improved control and can hold your breath longer when aiming with scopes. There we go. And next level, we can put one more point into it. Scope rifles will have a chance of knocking down your target. Oh, damn it. That's what I get for assigning the number key one to stim back. Let's see the glow sight on this thing. Oh, it's pretty cool. It, well, glows. And let's check out the sights on this thing. I 
guess it glows when it didn't before. I think that's the difference. And also, it should shoot a lot further. <laughs> it looks like I shoot snowballs. This looks way less impressive than it looked before, but I'm pretty sure it's simply better. I think... I don't know, it feels like I'm gonna have to aim more carefully with it. Before it was kind of like a flamethrower, and now it's more of a projectile-based weapon. But that's fine. I think that's a good thing, even if it looks less impressive. Okay, back to where we were before. It's gonna take me forever to loot this freaking place. It's so big. Alright, where was I looting this place? Yep, I just looted this room. I've already done that one. Just looted that room. Couldn't hack the terminal. Poor skellies. Just stuffed into bins. Fresh noodles. <laughs> what, did the super mutants make that? Hey, dog meat. Hey. Can we wake you up? You know what? I suddenly don't care. I really don't want to do the hacking minigame. Lock tight. Master lock. I wish I could make a note on the map to tell me to come back here once I'm level 18, I think it is. Which is when I should be able to do master locks. No way I could pick this. Because I'm not going to remember to come back here. There's no way. Okay, floor number two. One floor down, two to go. I just found the operating theater key. Don't need a lock picket anymore. Actually, ring the bells. Did I already check out this side? Oh, I guess not. Inflict plus 2% limb damage. I guess I've become very good at shooting people in their limbs. 
I have surgical precision in my shots. I'm already carrying too much, Jesus Christ. I probably should stop taking everything at some point. Okay, dog meat. Hey. I need you to take my garbage. Also, my weapons. There we go. I've got so many fusion cores and I don't even use them. I don't need no power armor. I'm powerful enough on my own. Okay, let's go into the operating theater. Now that I've got the key. Who's there? Hmm? Legendary super mutant. Okay. Got a boss. <laughs> no fight today. I just found a spine in a filing cabinet. Ew. Toggle operating lights, music, remote door control. Status closed, open it. Toggle the lights. Toggling them off, hmm. I think I want them on. And I am not gonna turn on the music because it's probably copyrighted. What's that? Hey. You what? Get it! Get him, dog meat. Occupy him. Jesus Christ, I can't hit anything with this. Uh, sounds like there's a super mutant directly beneath me, according to the compass. <gasps> Dog meets hurt! Hey, you disappear, you Dog meat. Oh, you're fine. Sounds like the legendary super mutant is downstairs then. Hmm. I guess I'll just ignore him for now. Okay, I'm gonna stop taking weapons. I'm also gonna not take super mutant heavy armor because that probably weighs 50 pounds. Oh, marksman rapid pipe rifle. That might be good. I'll take weapons if they're heavily modified. Syringer. I can craft ammo for it at the chemistry station. Does the thing shoot? <laughs> does that thing shoot needles? Oh my god, I think it does. Mm. 
Jangles the Moon Monkey. Jangles looks terrified. Jangles looks traumatized. I'll take you though. You'll be okay with me, Jangles. Let's see if we can go find our way to this legendary super mutant that's somehow down below us. Stupid noises. Are you this way? Uh, who's there? No, they're still below me, so they're even further down. Chance to attack. Save crackers, metal left leg. Oh crap, I skipped that. Oops. I'll check it in just a second. <gasps> come on, come on. Come on, you can do Oh Disappointment. can do it this time. Oh, forget it. Chalk. Yay. Exactly what I wanted. Okay, finally, I think we're done looting this place. And yes, I am going to check the armor in just a second. Let's just assume it's done. I'm just going to call it done. I probably missed a room or two, but I am kind of sick of this place. Alright, let's see the safe crackers in the left leg. Increase the size of sweet spot while picking locks. Ooh. I do actually pick locks quite a bit. That's good. It's also better than what I've got on right now, by quite a bit. Can't really see it in here. Let's go out into the light and take a look at it. Gotta be honest, it doesn't really look like anything special. Okay, so the Malton Center is marked on my map for some reason, and I don't know why. So let's go visit it. It's probably a, a terminal or something that gave me the location of it. So it's gotta be... it's gotta mean something. Police.
Oh no, I think the prisoner has escaped. terminal was working because it was facing away from me. It was suspicious. Eddie Winter holotape too. Message to Robert Kuba. You did good, Bobby. The wife and girl won't be saying anything. <laughs> no worries. Hell, once those fat life insurance checks start rolling in, <laughs> Mrs. Montrano will wish her fat slob of a husband had eaten that bullet five years ago. Unfortunately, I think the statute of limitations is up. Not to mention, I think they're all dead, too. Winter holotype logs. Map updated. Yeah, last time I checked a police, like, uh, log computer, it also updated my map, and I don't know why. It told me the location of something. I'm not really gonna read these, they don't seem really important. Anything on the roof? Secret bottle cap stash? Come on. The corner's right there. Surely you're supposed to get up there. Maybe not. Slocum's Joe Corporate HQ. Hmm? Which one should I go to first? Let's go to the center over here first. This place, huh? Center station, all trains. Like I said, it's got to be marked on my map for some good reason. It's got to be something down here. Oh. Firefight. Hello. Hmm? Oh shit, since. Actually, that's a really good thing. They're finally going to have ammunition for my laser gun. You cannot remain uh, undetected. My scanners long. must be malfunctioning. Hostile sensor reading. Legendary synth, okay. Let's crit you in the head. Boom. One hit, one kill. Found you. Primary sensor critically damaged. <laughs> Dog me got the killing blow, I think. Two shot hunting rifle. Ooh. Yes. Shoots an additional projectile. Oh my god, are you serious? Does it shoot them in the same place? That could be really good. Damage is 103? <gasps> I think this is my new sniper. But yeah, the fusion cells are going to come in handy for the gun that I actually just realized that I don't have equipped. Righteous Authority. It's like the best damn weapon I have. Uh, but where should you, should you go? Let's put you on number five. And I'll put the cryo later. Let's 
put you on number six. And let's also take a look at the new weapon that I just got. Okay, so right now I've got... This is my current slow-shooting sniper rifle. Compared to the two-shot... The, uh, two two-shot does massively more damage, like double the damage. And I don't know if that's taking into account the two projectiles, or if that's per projectile. Either way, it's way better. Accuracy is not too good, though. Weight is also really heavy, but I don't care. So the accuracy might be a problem, but I can modify it. I can put a scope on this thing. Let's try this thing out. Ooh, I like the iron sights. A scope is obviously better, but this just makes me think of, like, a... playing World War II games. Let's see if it actually does shoot twice. Is that two shots? Oh, it is two shots, yeah. Look at that. But it only takes one round. So it's two shots, but it only takes one bullet. One round. Okay. That makes it really good for conserving ammo. It also makes no sense at all, but I'm not going to complain. Also, I just got a dress that sounds really cute. Mmm, cream dress. Oh, look at that. Pretty. I think I'll stick with that. But, uh, yeah, let's try the new weapon. <laughs> Killed it. Shooting two projectiles at the same time, that really is like perfect for a sniper. It's perfect. I know you are still Oh, legendary. feels amazing to use. I need to eat some food. Or I could just take a blood pack. Yeah, just take a blood pack. That's fine. They're below me, so I guess I can run around freely. Okay, start back at the beginning, loot all the bodies. Ooh! 
Take 50% less damage while blocking or sprinting. Well, it doesn't matter to me, but... Value's pretty good. We're selling. Please come out. I came from upstairs. Yeah, I came from up there. Sweet. If they return, I will be ready. Inventory update. Map updated. Oh. Looks like we're pretty well stocked on canned food for right now. The last raid on a caravan seems to have paid off. The water supply is good. A few rads ain't gonna hurt anyone. As usual, we're running low on liquor and beer. I convinced everyone to hold off on the partying so we can keep all, cl all the clear liquor for medical purposes. Next time someone gets shot or needs a limb taken off. Brown liquors are still fair game. So, no one seems to complain. I've gotta say, we've made a good little life for ourselves down here. It beats getting scorched to death back by those nut jobs in Sagas. That's for damn sure. So long as no one pisses off our mean green neighbors up in West Everett, I think we could make a go of it down here. And then the synths came and killed them all. Gus, read this. Motherfucker, I will not tell you again. I come down here and find us low on dog food, I will put a bullet in that empty skull of yours. I know you're the one eating it, you fucking moron. No one else eats that shit as long as we got other food. I should have left you to rot when I found you, Gus. Don't you ever forget that. <laughs> so Gus has a taste for dog food, I guess. Yeah, I freaking love this gun already, I can't wait to modify it. I love the sound of it, I love the feel of it, and its damage is so good. I wonder if there's a modification that allows you to make any gun two-shot, or if you have to only... or if that's only something you can find. You can't modify it to be like that, but... Perhaps you can only find weapons that are like that? I don't know. God. I didn't mean to do that. Again. Okay, hold on, I don't want to miss anything. Uh, came from up there, checked over there, have not checked down here. Ain't no sign gonna stop me. Get out of there. Strengthen hardened raider left arm. Sounds heavily modified. Ah, carrying too much. Come here, dog meat. Got some junk for you. Oh, now dog meat's full. No. All right, well, I'm good for now. Just gonna be really stingy with what I pick up. Let's make sure to check the trains. Got it. Offline. 
Dog meat. There you go. Good boy. Whoa, just blew something up. Some explosive barrels, it looks like. Thankfully, though, I think the train wall protected me from the blast. Even though it was awfully close. Hey, at least they blew up this damn creepy thing. Maximum capacity calibrated pipe rifle. Eh, sounds fancy, but uh, I think it just means it holds a lot of ammo. There's no way it's better than what I've got. Headshot. Got it. I know I keep saying it, but really, this gun feels amazing to use. I love the sound of it. I love the feel of it. I just need to put a scope on it so I can get better headshots. Oh, fuck. Sensor reading detected. Sensitivity of my sensors clearly needs adjustment. Okay, I don't even know where the hell I am anymore. I really don't. I came from over here, right? Yes, I went that way. Went down the tunnels, went like around, I think. I don't think I've explored this train. Nope, didn't. That's it. Ushanka. I kind of know what that is. I kind of remember them from DayZ. Alright, let's dump some crap. Sort by wait. Dump that. Mm, not too much there to dump, really. What about this? Is this better? Oh, right, I'm wearing the dress. Of course, anything's gonna be better. Uh, okay, let's go back to our jumpsuit. And chest piece. Dump that's not better. That is better don't want to get rid of my lucky and martyr's arms, so let's not use any other arms. Even if they do have somewhat better stats, they will not have the bonuses. Gas mask would replace what? What would it replace? I'm not sure. Do 
Okay, good enough. Uh, don't feel like micromanaging that at the moment. Another Jangles the Moon Monkey. Aw. Are they collectible? that. I just didn't think it was a bomb. Appears to be nothing. Perhaps my sensors need calibration. Going down. Oh. Movement detected. Curious. Hello. Fuck. Your stealthy attack was unsuccessful, and now you must die. <laughs> Have I mentioned I love this gun? Oh, Dogmeat hasn't teleported to me yet. He'll be here soon. Lighting here is so creepy. Going deep, deep, deep. Hostile sensor reading detected. Ooh. Synths versus raiders? Maybe the synths are still in the process of taking out the raiders. I just assumed they were finished, but it sounds like they're not. I'm gonna let them fight it out. Yeah, raiders. Where's dog meat? Still hasn't teleported to me. Damn it. Did you hear that? This is bullshit. What the hell was that? <laughs> what? No. They don't even know where I am, but someone's head just exploded. Damn, is that satisfying? Ah, I can't get a clear shot. Fuck me. No need to hide. It'll all be over soon. Stop moving. I'm just going to use vats. Jesus. Oh my god. Huh? Missed every shot. Oh, fuck. You know what, Dogmate? I want you. For some reason, you are not teleporting, so I am going to go get you. Dogmeat! Dogmeat! Uh, Dogmeat? I heard him. 
Dog meat. Dog meat. There you are. Come here. Heads up. Go here. Over here. Good boy. Good boy. Come with me. Going down. Four. Heads up. You're following me, right? Yeah. Fuck was that? Killed in one shot. <laughs> this gun is incredible. This place kind of reminds me of Metro 2033. Now, there's a named person around here, right? Like Hilter Skelter or something? I want to make sure I loot their bodies. Their bodies? What? How does one person have multiple bodies? I want to make sure I loot their body. Oh, there you are. Hilter Skelter. Eh, nothing special. This chess piece might be better than what I've got. Let's check it out. It is. Weighs a little bit more, but it's got significantly better stats. I'm carrying too much. Alright, dump the old one. Weapons workbench. I can try to put a scope on this thing, yes. Lightweight painted metal chest piece. That might be better than what I've got. That might be better. I'm now overweight, of course. Mm, unfortunately, though, this doesn't have access to all the other crafting. You know, it's not hooked in with all my junk that I have back at home, so I'm probably not going to be able to craft much of anything, to be honest. But, we can hope. Let's see, can I put a scope on this thing? Oh, hey! I can. Wow, I can put a lot of things on this thing. Okay, let's take a look. Um, so I definitely want a full scope on this thing, right? Do I? I think I do. Yeah, surely I do. Although, I like how fast I can bring it up and shoot people. It feels... the iron sights feel good, but... They're not horribly functional. They're just not very good at range. I guess it'd have to be the medium scope, then. Yeah, let's go with the medium scope. See how it is. 
anything else we can do to you? Barrel, no. No. Nope. No other modifications at the moment. Okay, now let's just see. Yeah, now I can really shoot from afar. I just hope the accuracy is good enough. But, you know, if the accuracy isn't very good, it's easy enough just to, uh, just to put a reflex scope on it. Reflex sight. So is this better than what I currently have on? Lightweight painted metal chest piece. Uh, looks like it's basically a reversal in the stats. It's got more physical resistance, less electricity resistance. Don't really know which one's going to be more of an issue. Down here I'm facing a lot of synths, so energy resistance might be good, but I'm not going to micromanage my chest piece based on whether I'm fighting synths. I don't give a damn. So I'm going to say this weighs less. So let's go with that and dump this. Also, it looks like I'm, I don't have anything on my left leg for some reason. I don't really know why. Yeah, my safe cracker's metal left leg is off for some reason. Let's put that back on. Don't know when that happened. Maybe when I put on the dress. Forgot to put it back on, possibly. Looks rusty. Looks like I kind of came out of Mad Max. Sort of. The vault suit looks a little bit out of place, though. Looks too clean, too perfect. Oh my god. I have so much freaking weight. Dump some crappy weapons. Alright, good enough. I'm one pound from being overweight. I'm going to be overweight in ten seconds. But for now, I don't give a damn. I want to shoot something with the scope. And with this gun. Here. Over there. Dog meat. Get into position. Dog meat. Hold. Let's go. There you go, boy. Going up. <gasps> dog meat. What? Where did dog meat go? Dog meat! No, 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 no. Go down. Going up. Look alive. Move here. There Going you go. Oh. Pet, pet, pet. Oh, it's a shortcut. Yeah, I think it's a shortcut that kind of leads you back to the beginning or something. Mm-hmm. I think we're done with this place. Man, I'm so glad I went down there. Because I think I found my favorite damn rifle that I've had for a really long time. I love this thing. Alright, well, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. 
So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I am going to go back to Sanctuary, dump all of my stuff off screen, of course, and then I'm going to see if I can modify this beautiful rifle some more. <laughs>